saw my PMR 30 review right PMR 30 made by Caltech in that review it was pretty much praised for the for the Caltech PMR 30 I uh, didn't have a lot of negative things to say although that video was mostly all the pros I'm gonna go through the pros and the cons in this video this is my PMR 30 it's on safe right now empty magazine chamber is not loaded Let's get to the pros. The pros, it's lightweight. It feels good in the hand. I love the trigger. It's about as close to pulling it on a glass rod and feeling it just break that I've ever felt with, without sending it off to a, a gunsmith to do trigger work. I like the sights, fiber optic front and rear. I like the fact that it comes ready to mount a, uh, a red dot on there, if you so choose. I like the capacity, 30 rounds. It's really nice. I uh, brought this out to the range and was shooting it. The guys look over like, oh, is he going to run out of ammo? Yeah, when I hit 30. Overall, it's an okay gun for uh, the $320 I paid for it. I know I didn't pay $900 plus price tag this thing was fetching during the whole panic, right? I think it's worth the $300 that I paid for it. Maybe a little less. Maybe $200. If you guys watch the videos that I've had the PMR-30 in, uh, you'll see I have a lot of FTF issues, uh, failure to feeds. The manual calls for you use certain ammunition, and uh, they recommend CCI Maxi Mags because they have enough power behind them to cycle the weapon properly. Even when using the CCI Maxi Mags, I've had a lot of FTF issues. You guys see me, I always correct it by taking my trigger finger over, pulling back on the slide slightly, and letting go, and it, it corrects the malfunction instantly. Uh, that's a good thing. It's really easy to correct a FTF, especially with one hand. But it really shouldn't have all those fear of the feeds right from the start, you know. People say, oh, was it, is it the break-in period? Well, I've had just under 500 rounds to this thing, and I'm still getting failure to feeds. I'm not getting any keyhole. Generation 1 PMR-30s with keyhole, they had a fluted barrel, these Gen 2s, they do not have a fluted barrel, and I haven't had any keyhole issues with mine. Let's get with the cons of this weapon. As you know, today I uploaded two videos, this one and the range video of this PMR-30, and it actually broke on me. It was able to, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize it broke until I actually watched the footage and put the video together. And I was like, wait, what was that? I saw it, went and got this out of the case. Sure enough, broke. And what broke is right here. That little pin right there, that's the assembly pin that keeps this slide and barrel assembly on the frame. Without that, if you were to fire around, the slide would cycle back and then shoot off the frame. If not shoot off the frame, it'd be stuck way up here somewhere. But uh, it's sheared right in half. I'll put the video right up there for you guys. You guys can see that it's sticking out both sides of the PMR-30. And this is what's left of that assembly pin sheared right in half. There was a groove right in the center of the pin. I think it was a detent. Before you push it in, it, you could feel it lock. And that's where it failed. One thing I don't like about it is that, again, the manual safety. It's no big deal, but that's just one other thing to worry about, for me at least. Well, another con is the ergonomics, okay? Where the safety's fine, the trigger's fine, the way it feels in the hand is fine. I don't like the magazine release being way down on the butt. It would make more sense to have it where it usually would be, right around here. Especially for, you know, one-handed people or one-handed shooting. I pretty much have to holster the weapon, take my hand off it, pop the magazine out, get a new one, slap it back in, and then bring it back up. It would have been so much easier if it, there would have been a magazine release where they usually are. 
as I'm going to put it back in the holster, I could have released the magazine, put it in the holster, grabbed the new magazine, slapped it in, and then go back in the fight, if you will. But I have to add extra step. As I'm going down, I can't just release the magazine. I guess maybe if I bump it on my chest there, that kind of worked. And then push it out with my pinky. It's all about adapting and overcoming, right? But they should have changed. They should have put a magazine release up here. Another thing when it comes to the magazines, 30 round capacity, right? And each one of those holes represents five rounds. You get five rounds in, you'll see the slug of that round right there. And then again right there, 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 and to 30. Now, the manual says put the rim of the round in that little enlarged area there push down and then push push the round back so the rim is at the back of the back of the magazine there do that for five rounds then give it a nice tap to seat the rounds well I have four magazines that will load pretty easily to 30, 30 rounds no problem I have six mags total so I got two more mags that just will not load to 30, 30 rounds when I get above 25 it starts to push these feed lips out pretty bad when you're trying to load the next round in. It dents the round below it and it starts to mess up these feed lips. They're polymer. So maybe that's part of the FTF problems too. With a full magazine there's too much magazine spring tension on there. It's not allowing the, the action to cycle properly. But other than that, it's an okay gun. It's a good beginner's gun for people learning how to shoot. Even with the malfunctions. Someone can shoot and they can practice, you know, how to clear malfunction, you know, what, what they should do. Like I said, it's only worth the $300 I paid for it, probably less. Unless you really, really, really want this, I wouldn't pay anything more. But then again, it's supply and demand, right? Well, that's it. If you like it, click that little like button down there. If you didn't, click the dislike button, I don't care. Uh, if you like my video, subscribe. Bye.